Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an Etsy perfume shopping guide. This is something that kind of strikes close to home for me because I have been on Etsy for a long time. I used to have a candle shop, handmade candles, and I currently have a gold-filled jewelry shop on Etsy. I think that Etsy is a really amazing platform that gives the opportunity for basically anyone to chase after their entrepreneurial dreams. And I wanted to make a video to show you some of my favorite handmade perfumes from Etsy. These are all small batch handmade perfumes and amazing price points and amazing smells. And I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. I know that a lot of people like to shop small for Christmas gifts and for holiday gifts. I am definitely one of those people. I love ordering from places like Etsy to get, you know, handmade gifts for my family and friends. So if you guys are interested in this kind of concept, just keep watching the video. We're gonna jump right into it with the first company, Sugar Me Sweet BBT. So this is a shop that is based out of New York. And the owner of the shop has been formulating her own cosmetics since 2005. So she's been doing this for a really long time. And what I really think is cool about this shop is that when you order a fragrance, you can pick between the base. You can pick between a, a sugarcane alcohol or like a Jehova oil base. So if you don't want any sort of alcohol, you can get it alcohol free. The prices on this shop, you can get a five ml bottle for $10, a 10 ml bottle for $16, or a 30 ml bottle for $22. So amazing price points. You'll see that's kind of a theme in this video. So she sent me Coquito, which is this really nice coffee scent, ginger and oatmeal cookie, candy cane kisses, chocolate cherry cordial. And you guys might've seen me talking about these a little bit in my live unboxing. So these are all obviously very sweet gourmand fragrances. They're all amazing. I'd probably have to my favorite one is the chocolate cherry cordial. It's just, it's so good. And I love these, they're so realistic. The dessert smell is just spot on. There's nothing like artificial smelling about it or anything. It's very, very realistic. So if you really like gourmands that are just so sweet, so edible, you will definitely love these. That is Sugar Me Sweet BBT. And all of these shops are going to be linked in the description below. So make sure to check it out. So the next fragrance that I have for you guys is called Cedar Spice by Zai Fragrance. And this store is run by a 15 year old girl, a very young entrepreneur. She makes these all herself. Currently her mother runs the store for her, but she makes all the perfumes and her name is Zoe and she also has a YouTube channel. So I'll also leave that linked in the description below. I really like this one. The dry down on this one is so good. It's a little sweet when you first spray it, but in the dry down, it's just so nice. It's this very like subtle, woody, slightly sweet scent. It's just so impressive to me that she made these by hand. It's just amazing. She designs everything as well. This one I was really, really happy with. I really like this one. I I love the woodiness to it. And once again, there's nothing really artificial about it. It definitely smells like winter, if you know what I mean. So that one is Cedar Spice by Zay Fragrances. So the next fragrance that I have here is a little different. It's not really on the Christmassy side of things. This is a really stunning honey fragrance. And this is by Southern Essence. It's called Honeysuckle. For this two ounce bottle, it's only $33. This scent is described by the perfumer as a friend of the butterflies, birds, and the bees. It's a mix of this really sweet honey, balanced by frankincense and myrrh. It's very kind of like fruity and warm, but this honeysuckle is the main accord in this. And the owner of Southern Essence is a fourth generation perfumer. And she says that she is inspired by nature to make pure and natural perfumes without any sort of like artificial additives. And every blend is mixed to order. It's so good, it's so, so pretty. It's like this very kind of soft floral, very beautiful summer, springtime kind of scent. It's just this really pretty kind of honey scent. So that is Honeysuckle by Southern Essence. So the next shop is called Mandela Gems. And this one is also a little different. These here are perfume oils that are mixed with intention. As you can see, there is some really cool flower petals and stones in here. And the first one here is Creatrix, which is a rich and exotic perfume oil that is inspired by the spirit of the divine feminine. It's so beautiful. These ones are definitely more on the natural side. If you like scents with essential oil kind of scents, you know what I mean? Like really earthy and natural scents, you will really like these. These are not, you know, like a typical, it's not like a gourmand or 
anything like that, like a fruity scent. These are more beautiful spa kind of essential oil, but this one is so, so nice. This one is made with citrines and it's created to spark your intuition and connect with your deeper feminine essence. The notes that are listed in this is juicy citrus, rosewood, black pepper, jasmine, sambac, and ylang ylang. It's so pretty, beautiful, beautiful scent. And this one is like a dropper. It doesn't have a sprayer, an atomizer. And then the next one that I have here from them is called incantation and this one is designed to increase confidence and attraction and this specific blend of oils has been used for generations as an aphrodisiac it's a very playful scent with citrus and lemongrass and these are around $25 I can't get enough of this one incantation these would also be really nice if you drop them in like a bath or something but they're amazing on your skin as well I think these are definitely ones to use if you're into meditation or if you just want something that kind of grounds you as a person so that that is by Mandela Gems. So the next shop is called Lunar Life, and this shop comes out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. And you guys, these scents, just in my personal preferences of perfumes, these are amazing. These are both roller balls, and the owner of the shop is so sweet. We had a lot of communication back and forth. So this one is called Literary Snob. Is this cute lion laying. So the ingredients in this is organic fractionated coconut oil and fragrance oil. So once again, very natural, but the smell on this one, oh my gosh. And this roller ball is, it's just fantastic. This roller ball, this scent is just, oh my God. She could easily charge like $100 for this and get it. So the notes in Literary Snob are peach, plum, and paper. Some of these are kind of like imaginary notes. Violet, perfumed librarian, patchouli leather and vanilla. Not too sweet, but the sweetness is there from like the stoned fruits, but it's just, uh, it's beautiful. I really wish that I could get this in <laughs> an actual spare. And then she was so sweet and sent me a second one as well, which is called Breakfast in the Buff. It's another roller ball. And this one is more straight gourmand. Oh, it's so nice. It smells kind of like French toast. It's so good. So that is by Lunar Life. So the next brand that we have here, this is really perfect if you're a fan of roller balls. This company is called Jane's Perfumery and they're based out of Woodbury, New York. And these are the ones that I got. I got Lavender Marshmallow, Miami Sunset, and Alpine Cheer. And I really think these are fun because when you're ordering these, you can pick like the scent and then the color that goes inside. So I picked out the colors. I just did orange for Miami Sunset, this green color for the Alpine and this kind of like gray purple lavender color for lavender marshmallow. It's a very fun concept. It's kind of like a build your own thing. And these only go for about 13 to $15, depending on what you pick. And this scent, oh, the lavender marshmallow is just, it's killer. It's so nice. Very calming as well, like just to wear for yourself, just to sniff to really calm yourself. I really like this lavender marshmallow one. I think this is her most popular one as well. And then we have the Alpine Cheer, which is like this really nice Christmassy pine scent, which is why I picked it because I wanted to promote kind of like holiday scents because we're coming up to Christmas. It's so, so nice. Exactly what you think of. It smells like a Christmas tree. It's just sweet pine, very, very Christmassy, very festive. Really nice to just kind of throw in your purse and go out the door and just make sure you smell good. And then the Miami Sunset one is this kind of like cocktail-y, not boozy at all, but just this very fruity cocktail, tropical punch kind of smell. Exactly what you would think of when you think of Miami. It's just fantastic. I really enjoy these roller balls. You just throw them in your purse and you can reapply them. They're very small, they're very easy to travel with, which is another reason why I really like them. And then the very last company that we have here is called Al Plus Kimmy, which is a play on the word alchemy. And these scents are amazing as well. So this store is based out of Nashville, Tennessee. Oh my gosh, you guys. This scent here is caramel pistachio. It's just such a stunning combination. It's so good. This is kind of like, it reminds me a little bit of kind of like, uh, Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. It's just right up that alley. They're kind of youthful and playful. Very sweet. If you like sweet fragrances, that you will love these. And these bottles go for anywhere from like 10 to $20. This one, it's so good. I'm so impressed by the blends of these stores. The quality of these products are so good. It's amazing that they're only charging it's just, it's unbelievable. And this one is just super, super sweet as well. This one's called 1231. It's less of a gourmand, just more of like a really sweet kind of body spray. Think Victoria's Secret, but so sweet, so nice. I can't get over it. 
they're all so amazing. I keep smelling them. Every time I go in my closet, I'm like sniffing, putting the roller balls on me. I'm blown away by these shops. I enjoyed working with them over the last month so much. For the price point, they're just amazing products and you're supporting small businesses. And you know, it's really just helping people like the world is such a crazy place right now with inflation and prices of things and you know when you buy from these small companies you're helping someone's livelihood that's why i wanted to make this video i wanted to show some love to some small businesses on etsy like i said near and dear to my heart i hope you guys try some of them and if you do please let me know leave a comment below and i would love to hear your thoughts on this video so also comment below and once again thank you so much to all the shops that worked with me on this it was a pleasure i hope you guys have an amazing holiday season and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.